season depth scoring over the last few games because, of course, going into trying to put together some wins, trying to gather some wins consistently. That'll be huge. You turn on the mic so you can respond. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we all know that, and um, it's always a challenge. I think, uh, you know, however it is, whether it's, you know, through special teams or um, just five on five, getting uh, everyone to contribute. And <clears throat> I think especially when you have guys out, you got to rely on everyone, and uh, we all need to step up. So that's what we'll try to do here. It's a big trip, and we need some points. How encouraging can it be for Raquel to finally find the back of the net? Obviously, that's a goal scorer as well, as Coach Sullivan said. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that'll be a big boost. He's had some good chances, and uh, you know he's shown a number of times that uh, he can get hot and they can go in in bunches. So you know that's uh, that's what we need, and you know however we can get him at this point. What have you observed just a little bit you played with Riley? Um, what kind of player he could be if he's actually skating your way? Just really smart. You know, good in every area. Um, sees the ice well. He's got good hands. He can shoot it, and uh, he's really responsible. You know, defensively as well. So he's played pretty much. You know, in every situation, so um, you know, I think he'll be he'll be pretty comfortable. What are your initial impressions of Ben Strom and what he can bring to you guys? First thing that stands out is a shot, I and mean, I think that's something right away when you get on the ice with him and from playing against him. Uh, you know, I think it's uh, you know it's a big uh, skill of his. So I think just making sure that uh, he uses it. You know, he's uh, he's got a great shot. And, you know, I think as the games go along, I'm sure he'll get more and more comfortable. But I think it's nice when you score a first goal like that, and uh, for you know, for a new team, I think that's uh, that's huge. So hopefully, that builds confidence for him, and you know, keep rolling. Sid, in recent years, you guys generated a lot of um, offense off the rush. This year, um, you know, bottom seven in a lot of categories. How do you look at that trend? You know, is there an explanation for why you haven't? You're creating offense otherwise, but you know, what do you think of that trend? And is it something that needs to change, or are you comfortable with? Kind of the way you guys are generating the offense. Right? So it's, what were we? What's the stat? <laughs> um, we're bottom seven off the rush, creating in, goals. Uh, like rush chances, yeah, rush uh, goals, <laughs> I mean rushes, where his, you know, recent years you guys generally were top ten. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it, I think we're, what are we, top five in goals against, too? Yeah. Right, so, I mean, sometimes, you know, to, to make a responsible play at the line and not not chase a, you know, a rush play, is, there's probably a little bit of a trade-off there sometimes. So, I think defensively it's good. Sometimes offensively, um, you know, there's there's a chance you might get an opportunity, but there's also a chance you can go the other way. So, um, you know, I think as far as the rush chances, though, I think the more we can get on the same page and making sure that we're, we're coming up together, I think that always kind of helps that. But um, you know, that could be partly execution. It could be partly just trying to make sure we, we manage the puck around the blue line. But, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, you got to look at it as a whole. It's hard to look at one specific category. I mean, one, one affects the other.